What's up guys? I was going to do a, uh, a little more detailed video on the mods that I did to my Toyota Tacoma. And there's a lot of channels out there that are Toyota Tacoma buffs. It's like a it's like the Jeep people, you know what I mean? It's like a a cult, like a like a club. And uh, people that have their Tacomas, they really really like them a lot. And there's so many videos on them and I'm going to try to remember everything I did to this tote so far. Uh, this is the six cylinder one. It's got, it's got like 278 horsepower, which is a lot for a little truck like this. This is the 4x4. It's called the Limited. Uh, it has the leather seats. It has the uh, moonroof. It has the JBL uh, stereo system, which is upgraded. There's the uh, hard cover it has on the back. I have a really small driveway, so it's hard to walk around and show you everything. But what I did was, I, I put these ditch lights in, the rigid. I made sure I got the good ones for the ditch lights, because they're exposed. They go through car washes and all that. I got a mediocre light bar that's going to go inside the grill on the lower bottom of the grill. That's getting done Monday. Uh, it's a mediocre one, but like I said, it's not really exposed like the ditch lights are. And, uh, you know, I, I spent a lot of money on this truck, so uh, I can't get top-notch everything, especially now. What's going on with this Corona bullshit? Uh, it, it has the Raptor steps on it. So when you buy the Limited, the Limited is loaded with everything. It has everything. Um, if you're looking to get a Tacoma, they're about 43 grand. Okay. It did not come lifted. I put a Zone lift kit on there. Zone is uh, BDS's little brother. It's the same company. So it's very high quality, but it doesn't destroy your wallet like a uh, BDS lift kit does. But it's the same quality. If you look it up on YouTube, they'll show you why it's a little cheaper. It's not that it's made cheaper, it's just not as fancy looking. Who cares what it looks like? It's inside the truck, it's underneath the truck, I don't care what it looks like. But it's, uh, you know, it's a it's a good level lift kit. It's not a rough country or anything like that. I was told by a lot of 4x4 people, if you're fussy about your ride, do not get a rough country. So I did not get a rough country. These are 33 inch uh, tires by 12 and a half inches wide. They have uh, 17 inch rims and they are fuel rims, which are fantastic. I'm trying to think what else I did. I put the TRD grill in with the Raptor lights. Okay. Uh, let's see what else I did here. It's got the touch unlock and all that. It's all leather seats. Oh. It's a four inch lift, so the, the truck's the truck's pretty high to begin with, so it's, it feels like it's more like a six inch lift when you compare it. It's up pretty good. So there is the JBL logo that shows you you have the premium stereo system. It has it has a really good stereo. It really does. Um, why is this camera flashing? I've never seen it do that before. I also put uh, there's a place called Running for Tacos, because Taco is short for Tacoma, so people call them tacos. Uh, they have this little insert. I used to have that cubby hole. Kind of useless, square. Can't really hold a cup in there. So I got this. Fits in there perfect. And Running for Tacos sells it, and it has a magnetic lid. And it stays closed. It does not rattle around. If it does... Then you could put Velcro on the bottom of it, and on the you know, and Velcro, and then it ain't gonna move. But I haven't heard it r rattle. So, and I live in a bumpy neighborhood with pothole streets and stuff. So, so the new light bar is gonna go here. So what they're gonna do is this is my uh, ditch light switcher here. Okay, and then there's your auto uh, bright lights, and then this is this is for the uh, the outlet in the bed of the truck if you need an outlet you turn that on there there's your dome light for the bed so all this is going to stay this bucket hole right here which is useless 
uh, is going to come out and there's going to be two more bays for switches and I got that from Cali Raised Cali Raised if you have a Toyota Tacoma they have all kinds of aftermarket parts that look like they're factory so that's coming out there's going to be two empty bays and then my light bar switch is going to be either here or here so I'm going to have one bay left after the light bar and that's I don't know if that's going to be the air horn because I love I, the truck I ever had they, I like the air horns I don't like the air compressors where I don't like listening to them running I know they have electric ones now I'm going to look into that but right now uh, it's just going to be one empty switch hole which I do have a dummy plug for that so it don't look like dog shit and I don't know what else to tell you I think this is a more detailed video I don't have the rock claw rock crawl crawl sorry and then there's the sunroof it's fully electric it goes up and down and uh, vertical levitation has all that and it's got the um, uh, push button start which is so cool it, it takes a while to get used to that if you're if you're used to driving with keys but once you get used to it it's so nice not having keys it's great uh, I got the Toyota Tacoma inlay letters so what that is is it said Tacoma on there it was imprinted and those letters just fill in and they're the uh, silver ones which matches the theme of the car because this this is all black and silver this truck black silver and gray I would like to get the fender flares done in gray I'm sorry black to make it pop a little more thinking about that it's got a beautiful looking dashboard the whole thing about this truck is is the ride it's friggin crazy man it just doesn't ride like a truck it feels like it's so tight it feels really heavy it's it's a great great feeling riding truck and that's what sells people on these that really does. As soon as you drive it, you, you're going to buy it. So there's your uh, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, two-wheel. It's got all that. I didn't even try the four-wheel drive yet. Uh, it has a power rear window, which is right here. And if you look in the rearview mirror, you can see my flag right in the middle. And that slides side to side if you want it to. So that's really nice. Uh all leather seats just a really really luxurious sporty has it all rugged it's got the radio controls all the controls on the steering wheel uh, this particular year doesn't have Apple play but I don't even know what the hell that is so I don't care as long as it has Bluetooth that's all I care about but the 2020 Tacomas have Apple play and some other shit so if you guys are into that you got to get a 2020 if you want that okay but this doesn't have power seats the 2020s does I don't need power seats I'm the only one that's in here once my seat is adjusted it's done so I mean for me to have power seats would be a waste of time so I got a piece of uh, tint about five inches down from the top across the whole windshield had that done and I had the two front windows tinted to the same percentage as the back so it matched and that's it oh it has a cordless um, cell phone station so I just put my cell phone on there as long as it's an iPhone 8 or newer uh, it'll charge it without a wire that's really cool there's a USB port here, but for some reason that USB port that will not charge your cell phone. Ain't that weird? All that's for that's for loading data into your radio or any kind of photos. That's what that's for. That hole I don't know what that is. Okay, of course there's your. It's going to have all kinds of outlets and stuff because it's meant for off road and camping and all that. So it's got all that cool stuff all over the place. Um, it's got a a great bed liner it has a tampered tailgate so when you when you open the tailgate it it lets itself down nice and slow it won't bang or slam 
which is awesome. Uh, the tailgate locked manually, but it didn't have power lock. So what I did, I got this thing called pop and lock. It's called pop and lock, and it's like a hundred bucks. And you can install it, or you can have a mechanic install it, and it locks with all your doors. When you hit your lock button on your key fob, it, it works with all your doors simultaneously, all together. It's great. It's the best thing I ever did. Because someone could steal your tailgate if you don't have a lock on there. You know, your tailgate, all you do is disconnect the cables and it lifts off. So you don't want someone to steal your tailgate. Plus, if you had anything in there valuable, you want it to lock up. So since I have the Katano cover, I think that's what it's called, and the lock tailgate, my bed on my truck is a secured, lockable area. It's not the soft tops. You can't cut in there with a razor. It's all hard. So with that, and the lockable tailgate is awesome. If I need to put something valuable back there temporary, I can lock it up and I don't have to worry about um, anybody stealing anything out of the bed of my truck. So it's not just a truck bed. It's just a secure area. It also has the heated seats. This is the uh, the limited. It comes with the heated seats. Uh, I'm trying to think what else it comes with. Uh, it has the automatic transmission, then you can switch it over to sport, and then you can drive it uh, like a manual transmission. It's kind of weird without a clutch, but once you get the hang of it, it's fun. It's friggin' awesome. Uh, a little place here for sunglasses, which, you know, that's not a big deal. All the lights are regular halogen, so I had to put LED lights in my headlights. And I got like really, really good ones because I tried to put the cheap Chinese ones in from Amazon. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. They don't draw enough electricity. They don't send a signal to your computer, a, a, a strong enough signal to your computer for electricity. And they're going to start flickering. You got to put the money out. You got to get anti-flicker LED lights. And they're going to be a couple hundred bucks. I already tried the cheap ones that were like 40 bucks and they lasted maybe five months and then my passenger one started flickering and I was going crazy because I didn't know if it was the, if I was the headlight I didn't know uh, then it just stopped working I didn't know if it wasn't getting power and you know it was the light it was the light so I had them replaced with like really good ones uh, I forget the name of them I should have had the box here my other truck, I do had, I did have the pedal commander on it. I don't think I'm going to put the pedal commander on the Toyota. Uh, I don't know if that messes up the transmission's decision to change gears or not. At times, what it does is it forces the throttle um, to be more sensitive. Your truck's not really going faster. It feels like it's going faster, and it really works. It works good. But I don't know if I want to do that. This truck has enough response for me some people say the Toyota Tacomas kind of lag a little bit in, in uh, the quickie feel you know by the seat of your pants feel that really doesn't have it I don't get that I'm not I mean I just um I think it's fine it has plenty of power and on the highway whew, this thing rock and rolls I was going 95 with no problem 95 miles an hour no problem I, I could have had I had a lot more pedal left too but when you have a lifted truck with big tires and you go to those speeds, it kind of messes up the ride when you're at speeds like that. You feel it. You definitely feel the difference. Um, if it's all stock, it, re it rides straight as an arrow. You can't even feel it. But once you lift it and put tires on it, you can put the greatest lift kit on the world in the world on it. Uh, you, you're just going to feel a difference. But I rarely go that speed. You know, I live in a town... And I know you're lucky if you get past 40 miles an hour around here. But at regular highway speeds, uh, between 55 and 75, it rides beautiful. It's a nice straight ride. Had a little problem in the beginning because the tires that were first put on the truck were the wrong kind of tires. The sidewalls of the tires were a type that were stiffer. And when you get your truck lifted and when your truck's light, because um, these smaller trucks are lighter, uh, there's not a lot of pressure on the tires. It needs more squishiness So if you have a small size pickup like this one you want to get the soft wall tires and you want a lot of tire wall 
a lot of tire wall. In other words, you don't want 20 inch rims. You want 17 rims or smaller. I wanted to get 15 inch rims, but they didn't have them. So I settled with the 17. So if you get 17, 16, or 15 with a 33 inch tire, uh, with the right softness of tire wall, whatever that that is, there's types. You got to talk to a tire guy about that. Really be careful when you're picking your tires out. That's it, it affects the ride like you wouldn't believe because I had to get my whole all my tires changed when I first did it and the place that did it for me didn't even charge me anything because I think they think I think they made a mistake and they pretty much admitted it and said listen we're going to put all new tires on there that have a softer wall so it doesn't uh, affect your ride I, I literally did not pay a dime and I had those other tires on here for over a month so that was really nice of them to do that but once they did that it fixed the ride also no more than 30 pounds of air now I'm talking about my truck my size tires the weight of this truck no more than 30 pounds of air you go up to 36 pounds 40 pounds you go, with the lift kit and the big tires you're going to feel it you're going to feel it in the steering wheel and it doesn't feel good so just you know take my advice there and uh, I was lucky enough to have uh, a good mechanic that didn't uh, charge me. He, he, you know, he could, he could, he definitely could have could have got away with that and not told me that. So, and he didn't. He was honest. And that's why I keep going back to him. Custom Auto World on 420 in Prospect Park. They've been there for probably 35 years. Have to be. And they specialize in uh, doing this kind of stuff. So. I don't know, there's probably other things I missed. Uh, another friend of mine, uh, Humans for Targets, just picked up a 2020 uh, Tacoma, and he's probably going to do all kinds of accessories to him. That's the fun part, man, the accessorizing the trucks. They're fun. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, so with this corona shit, we're in quarantine. My double X shirt is now tight. So it's like my shirt size is Mini Cooper, and my underwear size now is Model T because I'm big you understand